Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome whoa, whoa, to NA. Whoa, stop, Ver Veronica. What? what? What's going on? Why are we not in place? We're like the audience. We're in the audience. I don't get it. N well, we've been teletransported to the audience with a green screen, Anthony, thanks to Brainstorm. Oh, nice. What do you think? Well, that's we're good. We're to our friend David Alexander. Hi. Veronica, can we start there the show? <laughs> okay, we'll there start. There we go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to NAB 2016. This year, we begin our presentation where everything started in the year 1425 in the middle of the Renaissance period. It was a time when Leonardo da Vinci made detailed drawings for the construction of several human power flying machines, like this one, the aerial screw, the predecessor of our modern helicopters, and this one, the ornithopter, the predecessor of our modern Delta Wings airplanes. Check it out. What do you think, Monica? Very impressive. It was around 1420 when Filippo Brunelleschi proposed a technique that would change the history of art for the coming centuries. Brunelleschi asked his colleagues to meet him at the front doors of the Cathedral of Santa Maria de Fiore in front of the Florentine Baptistery to show them a revolutionary discovery. For this, he brought with him a mirror and a table on which he painted the background and the front of the baptistery on using a new mathematical technique. In fact, the painting was actually a reflected version of the baptistery. Brunelleschi asked his colleagues to look at the baptistery through a hole in the table while simultaneously holding a mirror in their hand, reflecting the table. To make this even more convincing, Brunelleschi painted the background of the painting with polished silver so the real sky was reflected on it. Brunelleschi's colleagues could not believe what they were seeing. The mirror seemed to not exist. The painted image and reality merged together as they moved the mirror. The experiment demonstrated that the new technique called linear perspective was the right method to create the perfect illusion of space on a flat two-dimensional surface. This was one of the key moments in history in which the arts and mathematics merged together. Later on in the century, Leonardo da Vinci wrote in one of his manuscripts, which again we have to use a mirror to read because he wrote it in reflected text. The note said the following. This body has been done without example of anybody, only with simple lines. Realizing that mathematics could be used not only to represent reality, but to accurately visualize objects that have never existed before. Now, not that was envisioning what we know today as, as visual virtual reality. Reality, reality. reality. Oh, sorry. Hi. Okay, I think we're on now, Veronica. <clears throat> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the NAB 2016 Brainstorm News Show. Infinity says track free technology makes yet another leap forward in pushing the boundaries of virtual set production. Veronica? What can you tell us about the latest developments from Brainstorm? Thank you, Anthony. TrackFree is the culmination of several years of research projects funded by the European community and the Spanish government. Following on from projects such as Vision, Canoptum, Seeing, and Seeing Your Channel, this year we add on two new projects, SmartSet and Visual Media to the Growing List. The resulting technology is track free, a patented technology that allows the talent to be recreated as a 3D model, able to provide occlusion, cast shadows, and reflections in the virtual environment. Other features include modify the lens focus to create depth of field, so the talent can be in or out of focus, and therefore totally and seamlessly integrated within the scene. Also trigger the display of graphics, animations, and 3D objects by the simple movement of the hand, 
without the need of complex and expensive camera tracking systems and create a truly 3D volumetric representation of the talent that allows the presenter to become just another object in the 3D world. Veronica, that is just awesome. Love it. Now, wait a second. Is that what they call a trackless system? No, Anthony, you should know better than that. Okay. While trackless are typically low-cost and low-quality entry-level systems, the Infinity Set, with its groundbreaking track-free technology, is in another ballpark altogether. Track-free can match with total precision a fully tracked camera, while simultaneously allowing you to perform free camera movements, overriding the rigidness of camera tracking systems. More than that, Track-Free allows you to insert the talent as an augmented reality 3D element in live footage. We call this the teletransporter. Whoa! Bye! Whoops. Hang on a second. Cameraman had a few drinks last night, didn't he? <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Now, that means that Track-Free allows you to offer the news live and from the location where the event that is being reported on is actually happening. And as you can see, the talent is perfectly integrated into the scene. This is because Infinity Set provides precise control of the shadows, contrast, luminance, and other parameters to perfectly match the background image. Great stuff, Veronica. Everything okay in there? Yeah, I'm coming right back. Veronica? Uh, whoops. I seem to have missed my jump by a few feet and happened to be in the newsroom with the lights on. Not to worry though, because I happen to have two lights with me. Whoa. And I can take advantage of this dark moment to showcase the talent volumetric illumination feature. Amazing. Check out how the different parts and orientations of my body are properly illuminated by the lights. Again, this is yet another way of creating greater realism and integration within the virtual environment. How do you do it? Please tell me. Amazing. Thank you very much. I can't tell you my secret. No, I'm so you sorry. Can't, but welcome back. Thanks for having me back. Now, Veronica, this stuff is just just incredible. I would love to try for myself. Do you have any other examples? Yes, I do. In fact, let me show you how we can mix augmented reality and virtual sets by transforming our big video wall into an augmented reality window to the outside world. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Relax. Boom! Wow, check it out. I'm in a Spanish basketball league match between Barcelona and Juventus, Badalona. Awesome. Yes, but first let's speak to our CTO, Hector. Hi, Hector. Who can tell us more about this fantastic technology? Hector? Yes, we share an integration with a company called NBN23. They install an array of emitters on the ceiling that connects to a small device in the shoes of every player and is able to tell us each player's exact position in real time. Thank you, Hector. And now the match is ready to start. Let's see how data, oh, excuse me, graphics and video teletransportation will allow us to give the audience a more comprehensive analysis of the match. Goodness, it's crazy out here. Anthony, back to you. Yes, Veronica, it does look crazy. Now, here we are. Now, as you can see, this player here is waiting for the ball. There's no but the player with the ball wants to pass it, but makes an intermediate pass instead to avoid the risk of a long throw. Now, the player in the corner is now ready to make a shot and make a three-point shot into the basket. Are you ready? And here he goes. Boom. Oh, sorry, guys. And instead of showing a full screen graphic with voiceover, we can insert graphics and the speaker has augmented reality elements in the environment. And finally, let's go to the press conference room where we can be in the first row of journalists for questions and answers and display the social media polls. The first selfie, boom! Check it out, see you, that? You're good, you. I had to, I had to. Now, Anthony, since we are in elections this year, let me show you an example from TVE. This was a pre-recorded flight of a drone over the Spanish Parliament building where we inserted live augmented reality graphics projected over the building. Great, Veronica. Anthony, this technology is outstanding. No, it's actually amazing. <laughs> now, Anthony, I have a question. How easy is it for a Brainstorm user to do something like this? Hmm, well, it's easy. 
they have plugins for different tools like After Effects, the Foundry Camera Tracker, or a Buu that make it easy to extract the tracking information. Fantastic. And um, hang on, wait a minute. What's that camera right there for? That one? Yeah. Well, that camera, that's the camera tracking system from NCAN, held by Tom, just over there. It demonstrates that everything we have seen can also be done live as well. The camera would be in the stadium transmitting video and embedded tracking information while the presenter remains in the studio. Boom! What do you think? Wow! Boom it is! And <laughs> since you seem to know everything, what is the area over there for? That area is the Brainstorm Lab. It's a place where visitors to the Brainstorm booth are invited to fully immerse themselves into the action of the Infinity Set Track Free World. It uses a Shotoku track crane and demonstrates the use of Infinity Set in a full 4K production environment. Wow. Wow, wow. Yep. Hi. Anthony, hi. I can see that Brainstorm has come this year to NAB with yet again an impressive number of new features. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. That's it for our demo. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 No one's saying goodbye, Veronica. It's okay. They're waving. Oh, they are. <laughs> goodbye, Veronica.